Hey guys, Lorena Magani here with New Filmmakers Los Angeles. Today, I'm talking to filmmaker Tony Glazer about his film, Junction. Let's take a look at a clip from the film. We could have had them out and a team in to penetrate the basement. You're too close to this. I wasn't close enough the last time. Go home, Charlie. You're done. I have an idea. No, we tried your idea already. But then just, what are you doing? Shit. Tony, why don't you give our viewers a brief synopsis of your film, Junction? Junction is a thriller about these meth addicts who break into a house to steal a television set to buy drugs. And then once they get inside, they find out the person they're robbing is a worse person than they are. And then the whole movie just sort of turns on itself. How did you come up with the idea behind this film? Uh, it'd been coming, it'd been in my mind for a while, and uh, I wanted to write about those specific characters. At the time that I had been writing about it, there hadn't been a lot of uh, films. I'd written the first draft of this back in 2006, and there hadn't been a lot of uh, uh, lead characters that uh, were meth addicts, and, and that was interesting to me. Um, my producing partner and I had a friend who was actually, uh, had a really bad meth problem, which is how we sort of got introduced into how ravaging that, that, that drug actually is. And it, it was just, it was just, that was just sort of the starting point for it. Given your background in theater directing and in directing shorts, what was this like for you to take on a feature film of your own? Um, I, I f well, feature is more involved, so definitely harder, more days, more, more moving parts, more people. <laughs> so that's definitely more of a challenge. Um, but even before I got to doing, um, doing a short, that uh, I hadn't actually directed, but I, had, I was a producer on and, and, and a writer. Uh, I had sort of adapted a short story uh, that another writer had written. So um, even before that, I'd been in theater in New York, and that was really where it all sort of came together for me in terms of learning my craft and learning just about writing, and I had directed a lot of theater. And so I had a lot of uh, uh, prep from, from that point of it, and I, as much as I could, I tried to bring that experience into filmmaking, uh, certainly with Junction, where we would have rehearsals and we had all the actors there, and so. I, I mean, it was challenging. It was certainly not without its challenges, but uh, I think being as prepared as I could was, was the answer. What was it like working with such a stellar all-star cast? We had a tremendous casting director, uh, Pat McCorkle, uh, who really brought a lot of this together for us. And so she, you know, she just had her hands on just the best uh, theater actors, and there were even some actors that, that were from New York but were out in LA, and she just brought it all to us and got the scripts to them, and we, we uh, we met and talked, and it all came together that way. But it was it was her, and you know, and that all. Now you do have a small child in this film. What was it like working with that young actress? We kept her away from it. I mean, we kept her away from anything explicit. We certainly didn't uh, talk about things. We certainly made sure that she wasn't around anything intense. Um, as much as possible, there were some moments when we had to, and then we would sit down and we would talk very specifically, and her mother was on set too, uh, and we would talk to her about what was gonna happen, and I just, I found that, I found that the best way to, to handle it was just to be as completely matter of fact, but then very clear, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, I need to do this, and I need to do that, and she was very professional, and, and nothing really shook her, but there was a real, um, uh, there was a real desire to, to make sure that she wasn't uh, involved in scenes that got a little crazy. And, and even if uh, she was theoretically supposed to be <clears throat> in the same room where a lot of bad violence was going down, we made sure she wasn't, she wasn't there. So yeah, we thought about it, but then the things that, that we had to talk to her about it, we were just very, um, very straightforward. And she was fine. In fact, I think at the end, uh, we were the ones who were more worried about it than she was. <laughs> I remember one day she, we, we had to get her, um, I wanted her to be really um, upset about something that was happening in the movie. Um, and she, and I started talking to her and I said, you know, this is, we're going to, this is going to be, and this is happening. And, and, you know, it's, it's very, it's very, it's going to be very uncomfortable and scary. And she goes, oh, you want me to cry? I was like, yeah, okay. She goes, <laughs> and she's like, got it. <laughs> and she did it. And it was very, I'm like, oh, okay. I may be working this too hard. Was it a conscious decision to keep the twist at the end, or did you know when you were writing this film that that was the type of twist that you wanted to have happen in this film? No, I did. I did, and it's sort of rooted in this. Uh, it was rooted in the um, idea that once I decided to cover this particular uh, uh, angle in the story, once I did a lot of research on the subject matter, um, I was just so surprised about it. It was such a, 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 gut, a gut punch, and I was following actually at the time a specific case that was going on that got very complicated 
uh, and uh, I couldn't, and I, at a certain point my producing partner, Summer Crockett Moore, and I were going to actually uh, follow it as a documentary, but then the case got too complicated. But it was really, um, without giving anything away, it was really, um, it was really like a gut punch what was happening in the, in the circumstances in the case and just that it happened at all and how unaware I was about this particular um, issue. Uh, I knew that I wanted how I felt in that moment. Um, I wanted to somehow try to find a way to bring that out in, in the film and that's how it sort of, sort of found its way into the ending. So I was looking for a way to get us like a, to have the same visceral response in the film, had that deliver the same response that I felt when I first sort of got that, uh, had that experience, so. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Thank you, this was really great.